Welcome back. It's still the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Time to look at what the papers have to say. We have joining us uh, live from Port Hackett uh, right here on the breakfast. A debut for him. He is a professor of politics and governance at the Ignatius Sajiru University in River State. I'm talking about Professor Kenneth Nweke. Prof, good morning to you. Thank you very much for, very much for your time. Yeah, good morning, Petals. Um, Nigerians, this morning. Thank you very much. Okay, Prof. Lueke, we'll just run through a few stories on um, the front pages of today's National Dailies. Uh, and I'd like us to start with a look at the Nation newspaper, which um, has its, as its lead story. It says, banks run out of old new Naira notes to pay customers. Um, and the writer to that says, uh, CBN fails to honor cash request. Branches shot. Uh, I mean, does this not make a mockery of a case that was taken to the Supreme Court by those governors and uh, uh, the result, the result, the resultant uh, judgment or, or order from the court? Uh, well, uh, uh, what I can say clearly uh, is that um, the yeah, Supreme Court um, or the, um, the judge process uh, may be concerned the laws, but in terms of policy, so every uh, case to the department and government have got their responsibility. Of course, you uh, can make us doubt, but there are people who have had the responsibility of the um, can at it from any any part of uh, the city. Um, have the uh, um, right to do whatever they want in terms of policy. Um, policy. And of course, uh, yes, you can go to the Supreme Court, you can whatever order. But again, it is with special uh, overview of uh, the Supreme uh, uh, to say or back uh, to do whatever you think. Of course, they will say they will say, uh, not uh, obey not, um, or order. Uh, but uh, you can't come and if you don't do your work, it's not possible. And so they understand what it takes to prevent the policy, the policy, uh, the redesign. And of course, uh, because of some interests, of course, uh, that uh, the, the policy, of course, you can uh, can sit down the Supreme Court and then. Then come and do when the policy because they 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 are not the policy. You can't the, the system runs and runs when how to run. So nobody can hold them uh, liable. Of course, they have said that, uh, they are complying. Uh, uh, people to accept the good currency. So what what uh, is such, so to say? And um, of course, you know that uh, these monies may have been. Well, um, the currencies may respond, you know, earlier. And so, if you expect to be able to return, the only thing is that uh, they should be uh, saddled with the responsibility of uh, ensuring that new currencies are printed. But anyone that uh, have gone in, or have gone in into CBNs, uh, you know, I mean, they remain in their votes. And then they can also tell you that uh, it's not coming out, or whether it's coming out or not. You can't go to their boots to bring out money by way of legislation and other stuff. You know, do your work and do my work. And of course, you should also understand that you guys may have uh, um, some motives, you know, of you know around uh, vote buying and other. And, and then there are still elections coming up in the next 48 hours or so. So what do you expect? So they, all these things, they manage the elections are over. Whether you like it. Or not, or whether I like the truth or I like life, but that is the point. Interesting. Yeah, the, the the punch newspaper also follows in that same spirit, uh, looking at the the pains that Nigerians are still going through despite the fresh CBN orders. But I would like us to look at um, uh, a picture story and a headline on the front page of the nation, the punch newspaper, saying Nigeria rejoins uh, UN peacekeeping mission peacekeeping mission 10 years after exit um so this is uh, showing uh, nigerian soldiers w with a nigerian flag uh, mounting uh, un p 
peacekeeping helicopter, a white helicopter. Um, we're back in these peacekeeping efforts. What, what do you think about that? Because some would point to the security challenges facing the country, um, you know, and then compare it and ask why are we going, why are the soldiers on the country going to keep peace elsewhere when you have um, uh, challenges right here at home? You think it's, it's premature, this, um, uh, you know, uh, rejoining of, of the, uh, the peacekeeping missions in the United Nations? There's nothing wrong with that. No nation in isolation. So even Nigeria at that time, even when you have gone to some uh, uh, treaty or some kind of agreement with uh, uh, some organization like the UN and April, like that was become a member of this organization that can accept the fact that um, Nigeria own, uh, or taking actions in terms of uh, in part of the UN peace. So uh, we've had a uh, lot of uh, that uh, um, confronted over and so we actually much uh, to but um, in short, um, we also maintain our and then uh, um, the uh, at the and so public funds may have been a uh, loss of uh, of um, power and, uh, in terms of also that may have also that then uh, not that. There may be other um, motive for uh, Nigerian uh, uh, troops in uh, this in the United and uh, the United States, uh, which uh, I may not have said uh, why. So, but if that's uh, necessary, uh, in Okay, Pro Prof, it's, it's been difficult to hear you in this last answer you've given. I think there's a sort of a network challenge. Um, uh, I don't know if you can hear me, sir. All right, we may have to leave it at that. Um, we'll be back with more right here on The Breakfast and Plus TV Africa. We'll look at the first major uh, conversation this morning. Uh, guest is already standing by as we uh, discuss the important issue uh, of... Um, the election coming up on Saturday, the governorship and state assembly elections, we want to preview what do, should we expect, especially with the uh, earlier problems in the last uh, election on February 25. We'll be right back, please. Stay with us. <laughs> 